In this video, we're going to be continuing our New England Patriots free little doubles flex spread offense. And in this video, we're going to be sharing with you a play that is going to be really successful at bombing cover three, cover four, um, over the top for a one play touchdown. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best man player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we are continuing our series on the New England Patriots Gun Doubles Y Flex Spread Offensive Guide. And if you want to, if you're enjoying the series, you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide that breaks down both the trips tied in, the bunch, the split close, pretty much every single formation from the New England Patriots playbook, including more in-depth on this double swipe flex, then I would encourage you to get the New England Patriots guide. It's pretty affordable. I think it's like 15 bucks, maybe 10 bucks um, down in the description, and it's been helping a lot of people. This is going to be a great offense to run in Madden 22 as well. So if you're looking to kind of get a head start on the competition, getting ready for next season, then I would pick that up. I'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description. Now the play we're gonna be using um, is PAD bounce. Now this is really the play that you're gonna to go to when you start to notice that your opponent is consistently running either cover three or cover four, and they're also really locking in on the tight end. Um, this is kind of the, the general way people are gonna defend the gun spread is they're gonna lock in on the tight end in this formation. And so it's, this PAD bounce play is going to be the play that we're going to start with. Now real quick, it's actually relatively simple to set up. Um, all you're going to do is, you're gonna see again, they're gonna kind of sit like right in here. So what I like to do is I like to put my running back on an option route and I like to put the circle receiver on a, uh, a comeback route. I personally don't recommend smart routing it. I'd rather just leave it as is. I think it's gonna give me a little bit better separation. And then you could smart route triangle if you want. And then with square, you can do whatever you want with him as well. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of other options here in just a second. But let's just show you this. This is an easy, uh, just one play touchdown against cover three. Really, really smooth. As you can see, he just splits the safeties and you're able to get over the top. What's going to happen, at least what I anticipate is going to happen from a user perspective, because it's not really, um, it's honestly not a combination that really tips its hand. I think it does a pretty good job. Um, they're going to think that this guy can take him. And so they're going to sit down on this tight end. They're also going to sit down on the running back. And so because of that, um, this route to triangle is going to be wide open. You're going to see they just kind of sit on him. And look at how open that is. Right over the top, one play touchdown against cover three. Now this also is going to work well against cover four. Um, so let me show you that real quick. Uh, I've got cover four. Now, one little adjustment to the tight end route if you want to, this will still keep the thing working against cover three, is to put him on a slant. This allows you to put the square receiver on a smoke screen and gives you kind of a high-low check down if you need it, okay, if you need it. So you're going to see now we're going to run that same combination. Uh, cover four does a little bit better of a job if that tight end is on a slant, as you can see. So you, you might need to leave him on the dig against cover four. Let me show you that again. So if we just leave him, so if we just leave the tight end on a dig, um, you're going to see that should bond cover four. Let's see, let me double check. There he squats on it properly, and we're just passing this all the way to the right. You see, you get a nice little laser over the top. Now, um, if you wanted to, another way that you could, if you know they're in cover four, um, and again, you're not always going to know, but if you know they're in cover four, put circle on a smart right, a dig route like this. This should have, you know, pretty easy opportunity to bomb it. Get out of the pocket, hard right pass lead, click on, you go make a catch with Godwin. So now you don't want to, you don't want to like change the setup too much because if your setup doesn't work um, against cover four, then or against cover three and cover four, it's kind of pointless. So you can leave it like this or with the slant um, and be fine. You're just going to wait for him to get kind of, and again, super shed to you, classic Madden 21. Um, but you're just going to wait. So, look something like this. And again, I wouldn't anticipate you see a lot of cover four from gun spread. I just don't, I just don't see people running a lot of cover four whenever they play spread. Um, I'm going to talk about quarters in just a minute. 
but you'll see. Um, if you just pass lead all the way over the right, he will get over it. It's just the problem is the inside quarter kind of holds on it um, because of where we're at. If we were on the uh, – I think if we're on the other hash mark, um, this should work over the top of a cover four. I don't like to have to depend on hash marks. What I like about it is the cover three side of things, it'll beat it either way. Um, this will be – this will be cover three no matter what. Uh, whether you're on the hash on the left or the right, it, it doesn't matter. Now for cover four, you're gonna see, I think it, I think it's a little bit different. So there we see that, see how it kind of like s struggles to get back. Um, it's a little bit better to the left hash mark. So that's just something to know uh, for a few, for, you know, for like if you, if you want, if you know they're in cover four, um, it's specifically like a cover four drop, like if they're three, four odd cover four drop kind of person, uh, where they just kind of sit in this. This can get over the top. You just have to really get it out there. The biggest problem is, as you can see, I mean, he he does he does hang on it up pretty nicely. So if you if he hangs on the route, all you have to do, whoops, all you have to do if he hangs on the route is you simply uh, just pass lead it to the right. So you see if he's hanging, hang on it, hang on it, hang on it, and then you're just going to go over it to the right. And you have a chance um, but match coverage this is like my go-to play for match coverage from this it's a lot better against match than it is against um, like zone drop cover four I'm surprised at that inside quarter I think it, it might be one of those things where just test it out in game because it normally does beat that cover four don't know why it's not um, obviously with a gunslinger quarterback it's gonna be better too because you're gonna be able to pass lead a little bit better but um, let's talk about this against match. So let's say they run like cover four. Uh, just cover four match, right? And let's just, honestly, it doesn't really matter if we adjust the cover four. I just want to go over the, the key route. So um, you're going to have your option route. You're also, you should have everything here. Uh, but triangle should burn it over the top. So you see right there. See how he gets over the top? That's what we're looking for. One play touchdown against cover four quarters. Um, I think cover four quarters is it's honestly, I think it's the best defense in the game if they run it correctly, and you see that this specific route combination does a really good job against it. Now, what about cover three match? Um, well, cover three match is is okay. Uh, this does a decent job. These out The out route to square um, will do a really good job against cover three match. The post route, as you can see here, it does get inside and have a pretty good shot as well against it. Um, the biggest thing is like these deep out routes are really good against cover three. So whether it be cover three match, whether it be cover three um, with zone drops, because they're over 10 yards, they are really, really good. So you see here, just wide open, easy laser against that. So that's another thing that's really good. The other reason why I like this play is let's say they're doing a lot of this like um, where they're putting both safeties and they're doing like shaded up coverage. This is a great play for that. Uh, this post route to triangle. Um, if they're just if they just kind of fall asleep and they don't get back on it, it's it's a laser. So it's just a route. It's really one of those things where again you have to remember we're forcing them to have to respect the tight end. Okay, and I love this little motion right here where we basically just get the tight end out in space. Uh, the reason why is because it's going to just help a little bit with the way that he's going to draw this uh, safety, whether if it's in like a cover four scenario. But the idea is this is just something to kind of threaten them over the top if they start to get like really aggressive with their user coming down on stuff. So like cover th or um, like this right here. So if they do something like like this where they, you know, bluff blitz this guy and then they just user this guy. And then, you know, I don't even know what else they would do, but basically do something like that, right? You're gonna see this should kill the match, um, just inside and then just over the top. You just lob it up over the top, kind of hold the lead once you throw it, and then you do a little swerve catch and you've got them. It's, it's, the point is, this is a great play if you set them up. This is not a good play to spam. Um, you don't just wanna come out and snap it and go. You want to set this up. Um, and you can, from a match perspective, if you wanted to, you can run the slant with the curl, you know, the exact setup as a cover three. So it's the same exact thing. You'll see the slant is actually going to make it even more open because it's going to take the safety with him. 
And as you can see, it's a, it's a laser. I mean, it's a one play touchdown against cover four quarters. Cover four palms is the same way. Now, if they're in cover two, uh, real quick, just a quick uh, snippet on cover two. What you could do is if you wanted to, you could fade, like you could run this on the other hash mark. And if they're in cover two, this is an easy way that you can kind of build a cover two beater into this offense so that you can beat every coverage. You just fade square, and then you have the same combination, right? This right here. And what you'll notice is this fade to the left is going to kill cover two. Just outside pass lead it against cover two, whether it be zone drop or not zone drop, you're still going to beat it uh, with that adjustment. The post route won't get as open against cover two, uh, just to be clear. Let me just show that. So if they run cover two, whoops, and you run this setup of it, your post, it does get open up the seam. Um, if you, But you've got to anticipate that's going to be where their user is. If they're really falling asleep at the wheel, I mean, it's, it's going to take a lot. This thing does beat cover two if their user doesn't guard it, which it's very rare that he's not going to. But you see, you can pass lead that up uh, against the seams. So, anyways, this PA deep outs play is really it's a it's a play that you can go to whenever they start to really get aggressive on that right side with their user. They really start to kind of come in and really try to hold on that. Um, if they're running a lot of Mabel coverage, it's a really really good play. It's good against cover three match, cover three Mabel, um, cover four quarters, cover four drop. It's good against all of that stuff. It's actually, you know, and again, this little motion right here where you can bring him out, it's just going to get you more space um, to be able to get this thing. You see right here, and again, cover four drop. For whatever reason, it doesn't quite get over it like I want it to. I think it might be a little better in game, but you're still able to pretty much take care of everything else. Um, you know, if you did something like this, if you really want to beat cover four, I think if you do something like this, you'd be, you'd be pretty good. But the problem is that's going to make you a little bit worse off. And again, you see here, if I, once he gets to the sideline, I can throw it and get it right on the corner just like that. I could do that against, you know, with the same setup um, that I'm running against cover three. So I'd, I'd rather just, and I just don't see a lot of people running cover four drop. Um, I just don't see it. So because of that, like if I want to, I can hit this route right hard, right past lead. And then I need him to keep running there. He kind of stopped on me, but... You know, we've got so many other things that are going to be cover four drop. This is really good, though, for, like, cover four match. Like, cover four match is really not going to stand a, a chance against this concept um, unless they man him up or they do something. And because you've got your best receiver in the slot, you're going to have a lot of success with this. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn the entire New England Patriots offensive system, I would encourage you to pick up the playbook. It's the best playbook. It's been the best playbook for years. I think it's going to continue to be the best playbook coming into Madden 22. So if you want to get a head start of learning this playbook, you can get the full New England Patriots offensive guide in the description of this video. Thanks for your time and hope you enjoyed the video.